you know what um, DNA fingerprinting is? Yes, I do. Um, it's a technique used for identification. For example, um, you see my phone right here, like, you can fingerprint. Do you know what DNA fingerprinting is? DNA fingerprint is the analyze of DNA from samples of body tissues or fluids, especially when conducted in order to identify individuals. DNA fingerprint paternity testing. DNA fingerprinting with gel electro can be used to determine who the parents of an organism are. Just like genes, DNA fragments are inherited from both parents. Every individual organism is unique. Like fingerprints, each person has a unique DNA fingerprint. Every cell in the body has the gene with the same DNA sequence. The technique of DNA fingerprinting was pioneered by Dr. Alec Jeffries. For DNA fingerprinting, a small amount of blood is taken. DNA is attracted from cells in a high-speed refrigerated centrifuge. What is DNA? Stupid facts. If two different people started reciting their individual genetic code at a rate of one letter per second, it would take them almost eight and a half minutes before they reached a difference. If unwounded and tied together, the strands of DNA in one cell would stretch almost six feet but would be only 50 trillion of an inch wide. If all DNA in your body was put end to end, it would reach the sun and back over 600 times. 100 trillion times feet, six feet divided by 92 million miles. How does DNA fingerprinting work? The root from a single strand of hair is enough for researchers to work with. The sample contains white blood cells which are broken up open using detergent. And all the usable DNA is separated from the extra cellular material. Next, the restriction enzymes are used to cut the DNA into smaller pieces. My house was broken into last week. The police can identify the culprit from blood found at the scene. How can they do that? To understand this, we need to state what is meant by DNA fingerprinting and describe some uses of DNA fingerprinting. The burglar smashed a window, leaving blood on the broken glass. Samples of blood, hair or skin can be collected from a crime scene. Forensic scientists investigate the samples in a lab. First, they extract DNA from the cells. They use enzymes to cut the DNA into shorter fragments. The fragments are placed into a well in a gel. They are separated using an electric current. Different sized fragments travel different distances in the gel. The smallest fragments travel the furthest. A pattern of bands is produced. This can be compared with the patterns of DNA from possible suspects. The enzymes cut different people's DNA in different places, producing a different set of fragments. The different sets of DNA fragments will produce different patterns of bands when separated on a gel. Each person has unique DNA. DNA fingerprinting was developed in 1984 by Alec J. Jeffrey at the University of Leicester while he was studying, for, studying the gene of myoglobin. He found the myoglobin gene contains many segments that vary in size and composition and have no apparent functions.
Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you, always care